Hello again everyone and welcome back to Reddit Aliens, I am John, and as always thank you so much for being here. Good topic for you today, let's do it. What's something super creepy that's happened to you recently, not safe for work? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Around 1.30am last night I was watching TV in the living room when I heard my parents Alexa say something in the dining room which is on the opposite end of the house. I was the only one awake and there's no way it could have heard me from there. In the morning I checked the app to see what it heard and it sounded like someone whispering. Couldn't make out what it said. Freaked me the F out though. Man, I just wanted to watch Polar Express, not deal with ghosts. Some guy came up to me in a bad part of town while I was on the job, either trying to mug me or pick me up. Never start a conversation with a woman alone in a dark place with sweetheart. I was tired and angry at the day, and I just started going off on him mid-sentence about how I don't get paid to deal with this shit, and if he was going to stab me to get it over with so I could file comp and not have to go to work the next day. He ran, lol. I out crazy the crazy. I've previously suffered with exploding head syndrome, among other sleep disorders. If you're not familiar, exploding head syndrome basically means one has auditory hallucinations that mimic explosions or loud noises, and this would generally wake me up. Recently I moved into my own place. My auditory hallucinations have changed in a way that I wake up in a daze, then hear the noise versus the noise waking me up. Two nights ago, I woke up to very loud growling in my ear, looked around, saw nothing, wrangled with terror and reality of it for an hour before I could get back to sleep. I recently had a weird and creepy experience while out on a hike in the mountains. I was walking along a narrow trail when I suddenly heard a faint whispering sound behind me. I turned around to see if someone was there, but there was no one in sight. The whispering continued for a few more seconds before suddenly stopping. It was a really strange and unsettling experience, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched or followed. I ended up cutting my hike short and heading back to the trailhead. To this day, I still have no idea what caused the whispering sound or why it stopped so suddenly. As a relatively regular outdoorsman, uh, sometimes sound travels differently in wooded areas or ravines or cliff sides. I don't know, could be just someone talking from far away or, you know, forest ghost. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving home late at night. I saw a girl standing on the side of the road. She was wearing a black hooded jacket, black leggings or stockings and black boots. Her head was covered with the black hood of the jacket. When I drove past her, I saw her pale white face, big eyes and smile on her face as if she was excited to see me. Our eyes locked and it scared the shit out of me. I started looking ahead, increased the speed and kept driving. I was too scared to look in the mirrors. I get the goosebumps from writing this and reliving those 10 to 15 seconds of my life. I heard the most ghoulish noise when I came home from work the other night. It was about 1 a.m. when I got home and as I'm walking up to the door, I hear this breathy, moaning, hissing sound coming from across the yard. I hurried my ass inside after that. I was lucky the ring doorbell caught the noise on its camera because explaining it and hearing are two very different things. Not recently, but when she was still with me, my dog would sometimes go for little walks along during the night. She was able to open the front door, but obviously couldn't close it behind her, so one night I woke up to the most demonic sounds I ever heard. I could feel her sitting next to me shaking and growling. While fiddling around with the lamp on my bedside table, something scratched my arm and I could hear stuff falling around in her bedroom. When I finally managed to turn on the light, I saw something speeding out of the room. What had happened was my dog went for a walk, came back and left the door open for two of my landlord's cats who proceeded to follow her into the bedroom and attacked us. Those cats were pretty badass and my dog never heard a fly. Funny explanation, but while it happened, I pretty much almost wet myself. Me, 20 male, and my sister, 22 female, 
were arguing about something when a two-foot-tall creature ran from the hallway into the kitchen. We have no pets, and we were both alone. We looked at each other for about three minutes, and I asked her if she saw it too, and she said, it looked like a little dwarf or gnome. I searched it up, and the first thing that popped up was the dune day, and it looked exactly like it. We looked everywhere for it, but it was gone. It was the creepiest effing thing that we ever experienced. My uncle was a big bodybuilder and a gym bro, but he was always a good man. Unfortunately, he sadly passed away this year, but throughout my life, he'd encouraged me to hit up the gym and offered to help me with anything workout related. Whenever I decided to go to the gym, he'd be my biggest supporter and my free personal trainer. However, I never liked the gym, and I found getting up to go there demotivating, so I had to think. I decided to buy some rogue home gym equipment. I explained this to my uncle, who surprisingly didn't support me. This shocked me, as he'd never not supported me with this kind of stuff before. I ignored him, and brought the equipment anyway. This caused us to stray a little bit, but we still had a great relationship leading up to the end of his life. I remember him discouraging me to use the equipment, and he tried to reason selling the equipment. I never did. I still own the equipment. It's my pride and joy. However, a week or two ago, I had a really vivid dream, which he was in, and we had a really nice conversation. He then told me to come visit him, as he missed me. So, the next day I visited his grave for a few hours. The following night, he'd constantly be in my dreams, and we'd have a really good time together. It was like old times. I was really enjoying myself. One night, we had a talk about fitness, our old passion. He commented on how much muscle I've built and told me how proud he is of me. I mentioned the home gym equipment and how good it's been, and we continued to speak normally, but that was the last time I saw him in my dreams. It doesn't end there. The other day, I was using one of my machines, and I noticed a part of the equipment was loose, which had never happened before, but I thought nothing of it. As time went on, there has somehow been cracks in the metal frames and scratches on my weights. I continued to think nothing of it until two days ago, where I had just come home from a party. I was very tired, and so I went straight to bed. As I was on the border of passing out, I heard a huge bang. I jolted up and went to where it came from, my gym room. I opened the door and saw that my heaviest dumbbell had fallen off its support. It wasn't at all possible for it to have rolled off or break through its support, as the support was still perfectly intact. I checked my house around in case there was a break-in, but it made no sense, as the average man would have some trouble to trying to lift it. Someone who would have no trouble lifting it was my uncle. I feel deep down he did this. Maybe his spirit needs me to remove my rogue home gym equipment in order for him to rest in peace. So there's obviously a legit explanation for this, but it weirded me out all day today because I've lost an hour and I still feel super weird about it. My alarm went off at 5 a.m. My wife's also went off, which I thought was odd. It's her day off and she doesn't get up at 5 a.m. I take my shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, and go to the train station for my work commute. When I get to work, the sun is up, which is unusual. I go to the store at the bottom floor of my building for breakfast, but they're packed with people and sold out of breakfast sandwiches, so I decide to just have coffee and wait for lunch. After a little while of working, I notice that my work clock is off by an hour. I do a bunch of troubleshooting, and it doesn't make sense. Why does my work clock say it's 9.30 a.m. when it's 8.30 a.m.? I ask my coworker if his computer clock is right, and he says it is. Then he says it's 9.30. I told him, it's 8.30, your computer is broken too. Maybe it's the time server. Then, like getting hit with a bag of rocks in the head, it occurs to me that my phone is the broken device. I had woken up at 6 a.m., but my phone said it was 5 a.m. My wife's alarm was her usual 6 a.m. alarm. When I went to the train station, I caught the 7.15 train, not the 6.15 train, when I got into the downtown, the sun was out because it was an hour later, and the store was sold out because I got there later than usual. 
and I went through the first hour or so of my workday not even realizing that I'd lost an hour of my life. You know, I've read a lot of these stories over the years, and when we do Glitch in the Matrix, I get excited, and the time loss stuff always fascinates me, but typically, or ultimately, there's some rational explanation, and this is one of the rare posts where they do explain the reason, so cool. I was home alone last week and have a ritual of going around the house to make sure all the doors are closed, windows are locked, turn off all the lights, and check closets to make sure they're empty. Weird habit, I know. I go to bed and had the weird anxious feeling that something wasn't right. I couldn't explain it, but I just couldn't fall asleep. I get up to use the bathroom, which is in the hallway, and I notice the guest room light is on. I know it was off when I went to bed. I went into the room, checked the closets under the bed and windows, and nothing was out of place. I went through the house again, and nothing. So I just went back to bed very creeped out, but slept with the lamp light on. I grew up in a haunted house, so things like this don't faze me as much as it probably should, but it definitely freaked out my friends when I told them the next day. I have two basset hounds. They're both super sweet and very social dogs. They want to greet every person that walks by the house when they're out. Everyone in the neighborhood knows and pets them as they walk and we walk by. An older couple, 60-ish, started walking around the neighborhood every morning. We've been here 10 years, and I had never seen them before. They were polite and friendly, but never approached me or either dog. One morning I was outside with my male basset, Brody, and the woman asked if she could pet him, and I said yes. As she approached him, his hackles stood up and he growled. I immediately pulled him back and apologized. She moved back and kept walking. But now I'm wondering why my very socialized and non-aggressive dog, who has never growled, suddenly felt the need to threaten this woman not to come closer. I haven't seen either of them since, but I'm wondering who's buried in her basement, or what did she do to children in the mid-20th century? Not too recently, but about three years ago, a friend of mine had her wedding in a pretty old chateau. Now, the husband got crazy jealous and they separated, but that's another story. At the wedding, however, just before it was over in the early morning hours, I went to the toilet and there was a woman in a black dress entering behind me, which was off because there was a separate bathroom for the women and also there were no women in black dresses present that day. She looked at me briefly and wandered out again. However, my wife, who waited outside, didn't see anyone entering nor leaving the corridor but me. Of course, nobody wanted to believe me, as I was pretty drunk. But I have never imagined things, except for a whole other time in my life, where I had seen a similar appearance. How sitting for my parents while they were away in another country, lying in bed just late night web browsing, big quiet house in the countryside only light in the house is the room i'm sitting in hear music playing very quietly get out of bed and start looking for the source it's coming from a closed bedroom door what the f open it up and it's one of my parents alexa or echo speakers playing the eerie piece of classical music effing weird absolutely no way for anyone or anything to have caused it to start playing music let alone that music in particular. Second one, late night, talking 3 a.m. at least, lying in bed, and right above my head on the roof, I hear something way too big to be a bird or a cat slowly crawling up and down the tiles. Imagine animal claws dragging across old stone tiling. This has been going on for many months, but occasionally a man in a hoodie will sneak around my back garden at night I think he's a homeless guy who's sleeping rough in the neighbor's unused back garden. They're pretty big gardens. Our real garden lights keep mysteriously stop working, and when I'm out there letting the dog have a shit, I feel like there's someone watching me. My mom bumped into him, and he ran off. Saw him the other day as well. She shouted at him to F off. So yeah, there's a mysterious guy dressed in all black being weird in our back garden, and keeps doing it. We have a protective bitey dog 
and I've resorted to bringing a knife with me just in case. So, man's playing a dangerous game. Is your neighbor okay with having this person live in their land, or... I don't know, would you want him not to be there anymore? It's up to you. About a month ago, I think I bumped into a time traveler who materialized and bumped into me at Costco. There I was in a narrow aisle looking at a giant squash mellow. I tend to have really good situational awareness and make very good use of my peripherals. I looked left, I looked right, and no one was in that 60th foot aisle when I entered and made my way to the middle. As I picked up a giant burrito, friend, I feel someone bump into me. Taller gentleman, maybe early 50s, wearing a gray coat with a distinct mustache. He said, sorry, and walked off in a hurry. There was no way he could have cleared 30 feet in two seconds of me picking up that burrito with a face on it. I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Well, I guess I'm late for this one, but not even three hours ago, a ball of crumpled paper that my cat was playing with yesterday just materialized out of thin air right next to me, I guess. She was playing with it last night and kicked it under the fridge, and I didn't feel like reaching under yet again to retrieve it. So, whatever. Tough luck, kitty. I get back from work today. I'm sitting down, having some lunch, and scrolling through Instagram or whatever. And then, the distinct sound of a paper ball hitting the floor. I look to my left, and sure enough, there's the ball that I left under the fridge, stopping right next to my chair, after falling from who knows where. Cat nowhere in sight. I can't even be scared about it, just so random and kind of cute. <laughs>